Hi, I'm Charlie. Um, I'm a Suffolk Wildlife Trust warden, um, and we are here um, on the Sizewell Estate um, inside Kenton Hills Woodland. Um, right now, we're standing along a ride that stretches quite a long way, um, and it's along the edge. We've got oak um, and ash, which have really nice nooks and crannies in um, for bats to roost. Um, and one of the most important species we have here is the Barbastel bat, uh, which is very rare in the country, so it's a really important species. We're currently overlooking Sizewell Belt, which is a site of special scientific interest. Um, it's a series of grazing marshes that are interconnected with dikes. The site attracts a whole array of species from marsh harrier that forage along the length of it. Hobbies are about dragonflies, which are hobbies food source, water vole, and that doesn't include the plant life that's here. We have some really rare species here, um, and in a quite a complex system of geology and complex water levels, um, it makes it into a really rich mosaic. We've got ponies grazing Leyston Common at the moment. Um, they do a really good job of obviously grazing along with the rabbits and creating ground disturbance. We've just spotted some red deer. We've just walked over to Station Marshes, uh, which is where we are now, which is part of the Triple SI. Um, one of the really exciting things about Sizewell is the range of habitats that you have here. So we're standing on grazing marshes, but not too far over in that way um, is a much sandier, drier habitat where a really special amphibian lives called the Nashtag toad. On this grazing marsh, we have um, a really interesting patch of bog bean, um, which is a plant with um, really delicate white flowers. And it's there in that particular spot because of the really magical mix of geology and water that makes this site so unique. 